the trail, baby. Five card draw. You start with card sharp and joker, but you can just dump them if you want. Six discards per round, five hand size, seven joker slots. I see the problem. I see the issue. Bro, we could go crazy on some like delayed gratification though. High card build, delayed gratification. Let me think about this for a second. 80 points, yeah, for now. Until someone plays a better ace. You still have discards? I don't need the discard. You start with high card at all times. You're right, my jokers are backwards. Honestly, me personally, we don't go stone on this one. Just because, like, what the fuck do we care? Two pairs is going to be hard to make. Three of a kind is going to be tough to make. We take it anyway. Just think it'll help card sharp out because it, it grows permanently. And you know what? In that case, give me some of this. Two pair, huh? It's easy. It's the easiest hand to make in human history. Oh, you shouldn't have. <laughs> Rare had more sell value. Economics Andes, when you find out the way to win the game is not optimally spending money, but uh, creating score. <gasps> I mean, plus one hand size would go kind of crazy, but never tell me the odds. You know what? Fuck it, bro. We ball. Space pants. And we, the two space pants in aggregate create one basic joker. Perfect. <laughs> hey, oh, he's crazy though. Moneyball ass build, so true. Uh, it's crazy. It's risky, but it's crazy, but it's risky, but it's crazy. Hmm, but it's risky. Hmm, but it's crazy. Hey, NL, did you know they're releasing a Joker too? I did, I did. La foi de de. Joker. La foi. La folie de Joker. Hang on, I'm working on it. Plus one mold. Wait, that's not how we should play this. Hang on, I'm stupid. I got a, I got a much better idea. By the way, we're gonna win this challenge and you will all be ashamed of your words and your deeds. This is a gimme. You're in just chatting. Okay, 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 not Bradlington. Do you know what game you're looking at right now? Cod? <laughs> I just thought some other people might be confused. Me, when I buy just chatting on Steam and find out it's not the greatest version of poker ever released, but instead some kind of like horny visual novel. No! Sigh, the millennial in me. Sigh, unzips. <laughs> oh, this is a bad start. Okay, or is it fine? Maybe it's totally fine. Oh, it's totally fine. You play this to pump up Ride the Bus. You play this to pump up, ride the bus. You play this to pump up, ride the bus. And then, oh, that sucked ass. <laughs> I could have gotten four more molt, bro. Oh, the banana you shouldn't have. Six discards is, is too good. Easy. Play a 8-7. Uh, mm. 
9-3. It's just that easy. Have you seen the TikTok Riz party? I have not seen the TikTok Riz party, but I am... I'm... The concept of it is interesting. TikTok Riz party, huh? Librarian? Yeah, can you... Can we get on this? TikTok Riz party? I'm hearing tell of a TikTok Riz party. And I wasn't invited? Brother, come on with this. Sorry, no gamers allowed. But Shroud is in there. Oh, it's, we said no gamers. With an S. We can have one gamer. Easiest win of my life. Hold R? What are you talking <laughs> it's, it's the greatest run of all time. What do you mean hold R? That's just not good enough. What's the challenge here? Uh, the challenge is five hand size, which is admittedly really bad. That's all I got. It's really hard. Imagine getting stuntman on this run. <laughs> don't don't threaten me with a good time, brother. Huge, huge! Oh my banana! Honestly, could use a malt malter. Cards previously played this ante are debuffed. See if I care. Hmm. I didn't have anything else to say. Reroll for Cavendish. Don't even worry, but don't don't you worry, your pretty tiger head. We're gonna get you home to Tyson and your cozy tiger bed. Then we're gonna find our best friend Doug, and then we're gonna give him a best friend hug. You need to put your pants on your end. Well, I guess that's kind of the idea, huh? Now that I think about it. Very timely reference, King. Oh, we don't like the Hangover 1 now? We never did? Uh, actually, it's the highest grossing R-rated comedy of all time. Some high card action. Was? What is it now? Joker? Joker's not a comedy. It's Deadpool now. Oh. I'm not even... And, and I mean this... This is not going to get me a lot of... Uh, plus twos, I'll admit it. Deadpool is easy to make fun of. But is actually fine. I don't know what you want me to say. I, I can't speak for Deadpool 3 because it's not out yet. If anything, it's a testament to Deadpool, the movies being good, that they have like the most cringeworthy concept of all time, but it totally works. Now, are they my favorite pictures ever released? No, I'd have to say, um, the one where the rocket hits that lady in the face, but the lady is the moon. And then the one where the dude sneezes, and then the one where the train, uh, like, comes straight at the screen. And then probably Spider-Man 2, in that order. Anyway, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> what about Eraserhead? Yeah, I mean, I guess it's fine if you're like in heaven or whatever. Um, um, let me let me think. You guys are spoiling my focus here, okay? Dump it. How about how about one pair? How about one pair? How about none pairs? 
How about... Does this mean anything to you? It's the greatest hand ever played. <clears throat> Have you seen Chris Hansen, but he's hungry? I don't even know how to parse the... The scent, I don't even know how to answer the question. Have you seen Chris Hansen, but he's hungry? <laughs> Have you seen, it's a video. It's the funniest video ever. Are you telling me it's funnier than Not Today, Motherfucker? Because that one is a, is a classic, man. I'd say it's on par. On par with Not Today, Motherfucker, huh? That's that's a big that, those are those are big words. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Those are big words, Fokker. High card may win, so why don't we fucking play two pair anyway? So at least we increment our multis. Maybe it makes no sense. It's uncommon, but it's simply, it's not my tempo. It doesn't fit. What role would you have on a movie set? I think you'd be a good location manager. Okay, let me think about that one for a second. Um, mm, star? Star would be my first guess. If not star, director. I really feel like maybe, I'm. there's no maybe involved. I'm actually like completely ignorant to... Hollywood completely. Um, but it seems like being a casting director is the easiest job of all time. You don't even do the acting. You just sit at a table and judge people. And then you go, hmm, yeah, yeah, after a thousand auditions, who are we going to put in our fucking shitty AI generated movie? Hmm, Chris Pratt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And no disrespect, they have like, they always have like a, the, the designation after their name. Like a doctor? Like when I go to my dermatologist, it's like, you know, doctor whatever, MD. What is, why does a casting agent have the, the descriptor? Would they go to fucking the Harvard of casting Ryan Reynolds in self-aware wink nod movies that break the fourth wall? Like, just doesn't seem right to me, man. It just is, I, mean, I guess I'm disrespecting the casting directors. I'm just, I, I, I personally, I don't buy it, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. It doesn't make sense to me. I'm just tired of Ryan Reynolds. I hear you, and I'm going to say something. I don't really care if this offends people. I got nothing against him on a personal. I'm, t I'm tired of Ryan Reynolds, too. And it, he seems like a perfectly affable gentleman. I'm not trying to, you know, ruin his life or whatever. What I will say is, as well, I'm kind of tired of, of Ryan Gosling, too. Am I able to say this? And I, I, he's been in some great stuff, but I'm just, I don't know, now I'm at the point almost where, like, every time I see Ryan Gosling, I'm kind of like, this bloke again. It's not jealousy, it's just like, I don't know, I'm kind of... I'm just kind of sick of him, I guess. <laughs> Fastest plus two to minus two ever. I don't even know really where it came from. I think it's like, you know... I think it's because I've seen two movies in theaters in the past six weeks for the first time since 2019. And both times they played the four and a half minute long trailer for... Um, Oh, what is it called? The movie where he's the stunt man, but then he has to become the fucking actor. And they had the fall guy, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Emily Blunt doesn't want anything to do with him, but somehow in the trailer they're like making out and like banging and stuff like that. And then like also, he's in the Gray Man. I watched the Gray Man and I was like, he's this. 
I'm just not... I feel like as an actor, he's like, okay, but the roles are going like, like up and down. Ryan Reynolds, I, I find more annoying than Ryan Gosling for sure, because Ryan Reynolds doesn't have a single uh, Blade Runner 2049 in his catalog. I mean, I guess as long as I'm like making enemies, <laughs> sorry, or La La Land, that's true. As long as I'm making enemies, I feel like Ryan Reynolds is kind of like the Canadian version of The Rock. Like as soon as I, I see him in a movie, I'm like, I just, there's just no chance, right? There's no chance this is going to be great. It might be okay, but there's no chance it's going to be great. There's a 0% chance. You like Ryan Reynolds more than The Rock? I like him about the same. For me personally. Also, I think Ryan, no disrespect again to Ryan Reynolds. He's a Vancouver hero. Two things to disrespect him, I guess. First off, every time he gives an interview, an interview about his favorite Vancouver restaurant, he always mentions Minerva. I've been there. Listen, it's your favorite Vancouver restaurant. Me, my personal two cents is that you're putting on airs. The restaurant's fine. It might even be good to great, but best Van best restaurant in Vancouver. That's insane. Also, it it's that like in all the movies, he's kind of like wink nodding at the camera. But then also like in every advertisement for Freedom Mobile and Aviation Gin. He also wink nods at the camera, like like literally everything that he does is self-aware, and you're just like, I get it. I get it, you're you, man! And it's working, don't get me wrong, but... Stop jimming the camera. So true, shout out to John Krasinski. I'm getting, uh, my, my producer in my earpiece is saying, under no circumstances are we sure. We're, we're shouting out John Krasinski for being so iconic as Jim Halpert that when you say stop jimming the camera, everybody knows what you're talking about. I should have stuck with the hanged man on this one, but alas, we're moving on. What's up? I would rather you didn't on camera. Are you getting just the the way that we I, I was just talking about this earlier in the stream my mid-year resolution i no longer want to use the stream to vent about people irl okay. for a couple of reasons one is that i think it's a little it's unfair to the person that's getting vented upon to have like a, a slight social situation then pushed out to like thirteen thousand people and the other one is that, you know, as much as I get annoyed by our daycare provider from time to time, we're on a team. We're, we're both, you know, in the, in the business of raising our daughter. Is that, is that, is that why you talk about my sister's dishwasher? Well, that's, I, I specifically referenced that when I said that was like, I don't want to do that anymore. Oh, after that's you growing out, up. After you have bent it out, now that you have light shoulders. I mean, that was, that was eight days ago. My <laughs> wife's in my ear saying people can't change for the better. This is, this is a bad influence, man. <laughs> she caught you? I, she didn't catch me. I, I started the bit by saying, I'll acknowledge that I'm the person who does this the most. <laughs> I did see the photo of the... I went to bed at about 10.45 last night. I woke up this morning at 5.47 a.m. First thing I saw on Discord, my wife sent me a photo of a man with insanely large testicles because he got bit by a mosquito. It was sent at like 11.58 p.m. last night. And I was like, what is, what is she doing? Well, how big was the I mean, they were so big, they, were, they had descended to touch the ground. They were they were large enough that that the sheer weight of them had had them swaying to the ground. It was like 
I would I would able to fit that. We wouldn't be able to fit that. What do you mean by that? Well, I I would be able to fit in that. Oh, you would be able to fit in that. I see. <laughs> I see what you're saying. I saw. I get the picture. The legendary long balls. It was huge too. I'm, I'm just gonna be honest with you. They were the largest balls I've ever seen. And that includes my own, and I had a medical condition. <laughs> he did, he did. He got stung by a mosquito that was infected with parasite. <clears throat> and um, it got huge, took a back. Me, there, there's no cure for it. me immediately flying to wherever this took place. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you love party, it's a real disease. <laughs> It's called Giganto Balls, okay? And there's dozens of us. It's not fun. Why are you laughing? It's not funny. I wasn't laughing. Millions of people annually suffer from elephant balls. It's called maple syrup urine disease. You know, how important is the, the balls to male? Why, why doesn't he cut them? Why doesn't he cut off his testicles? Yeah. Imagine because it would hurt a, an insane amount. Yeah, but then would you jog around those two huge balls that you can even wear pants? I don't know what I would do in this situation, to be honest with you. But I'll tell you one thing for certain, and you can bet the farm on this. That mosquito is not seeing tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to, I'll be, I'll interrogate as many mosquitoes as I got to interrogate to find the one who gave me that shit. I'll be like, listen here. And I'll never talk. I'll never talk. <laughs> Make it drink like some really fucked up blood, like from someone whose blood sugar is all over the place. <laughs> Had enough yet, motherfucker? Had enough? Okay, okay. He's in the swamp. Would I cut? Would I surgically remove my testicles if a mosquito that was infected with a parasite bit them and it swole up to the size of a basketball? Yeah. I'd go to the doctor for sure. There's no cure. Step one, I'd go to. I'd ask the doctor for their opinion on it. I definitely wouldn't just get out like a pair of scissors or something. I think I would cut them off. Mine? No, if I had one. Oh, okay. And maybe you were. Yay! That'd be a. What if you showed up to, <laughs> to your vasectomy with a prosthetic scrotum with like a beach ball inside of it? And you're like, you're the doctor's like, okay, are you ready for the procedure? And then you like pull up your surgical gown and it's like a, <laughs> a boulder. What do you think he would do? Yeah, but it would be like a beach ball. He would be like, what? <laughs> He'd be like, what's going on here? You know what I'm saying? You know, um, Honkai Star Rail released a new character preview. Mm -hmm, okay. And then there's like a copy pasta. And then it was like, it was basically about dry sucking. Dry sucking? What is dry sucking? I don't know, but it's like, oh my god, he's so hot. I would marry him and dry suck him and do this and do that and put it with coffee and paste. It's not dry suck, it's suck him dry. Oh, it's suck him dry. A dry suck is like, that doesn't sound like, that sounds like something you get after you get your wisdom teeth out. What's the, wait, what's the other one? Suck him dry? <laughs> You're close. <laughs> <laughs> You're like a vampire. You try to you, you suck him dry. There's no blood. He's all dried up. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you, when it comes to the word suck, you could think of vampires. I wouldn't dispute that. Um, there's other parts of the body you could suck as well. And then you 
would suck that dry? Until there was nothing left in the tank. Because uh, the tank... Is that why the blue balls were so huge? He might need... He had, he, he, he might need to get on Honkai Star Rail, for all I know. <laughs> he needs to empty his tank? I think well, she's got to empty something. The tank is full. That That's indisputable. I'm going to the moon. What kind of game is Honkai Star Rail? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I, didn't, I wasn't going to say bad stuff. I was going to say it's the kind of game that has your wife sending you pictures of a man with elephant balls. That said not true. An hour and a half after... An hour and a half after I already went to bed. Those are not related. Hmm, 185,000 hmm. points, huh? Is that all? It's, um... It's, it's like Slay the Spire meets, um... Las Vegas, I think. She's like, she's mad because it's, she can't disagree. I was out. She wasn't listening. I, what the heck? That planet was called Penis. It's Venus. It was Venus. Venus, it's... <laughs> you can't make this up. <laughs> Dude, I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> she got me. <laughs> I can't even remember what she said when she came down the first Oh, just she wanted to vent about the daycare. That's fair. I look forward to hearing about it. I mean, I just, you know. You know what happens sometimes, though? Some, and I'm, I'm, not, I'm not going back on my resolution, okay? But, so, like, my wife does the daycare drop-off, and I do the daycare pickup. So what happens to me a lot of the time is that the daycare provider backseats my wife at the drop-off. And then in the afternoon when my stream is done, my wife vents to me about getting backseated by the daycare. And then three hours later, when I pick up my daughter from the daycare, I get exactly the same backseating from the daycare that my wife got in the morning. I'm not saying I have it worse. I'm just saying I do tank a lot of <laughs> psychic damage. <laughs> Why not, brother? Why not? And then you deal with chat. Well, it's true. And he's been a little ornery lately because literally, I mean, like this morning, I was, and this has been going on for weeks. I'm sure other parents can relate. Sorry, Sock and Buskin, you just don't fit in here. You just weren't made for these times. But, um, you know, I, I do a lot of, like, daddy-daughter stuff. Giving her baths, getting her dressed, taking her to the potty, you know, feeding her. So this morning I was trying to get her dressed, and then I was like, I have to wipe you, because she still wears a diaper to bed, so she doesn't wet her bed. And she's like, I'm not going to let you wipe me. And I'm like, why? And then she's like, because you're my enemy. I was like, what are you talking about? Are we really gonna, it's like 8.03 in the morning. We're gonna start off on that foot today. I'm not allowed to do stuff for you. That's where it, it gets crazy. I'm not allowed to do stuff for you because I'm your enemy. I would love it if you gave, you gave yourself a bath, if you wiped your own everything, if you cooked your own breakfast, if you cooked, packed your own lunch, if you cooked your own dinner, blah, 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 blah. But I'm like, I, so now I gotta do the thing for you. And while I'm doing it, you're like, don't do it. You're my enemy. And I'm like, what are we talking about here? I'm your dad, Buzz. Then on the nights when mommy puts her to bed, right before bedtime, everybody's gangster till the lights go out. That's all I'm gonna say. Daddy's my enemy. I don't like daddy. Mommy, here's a flower. Daddy, here's some poo-poo. Daddy's my enemy. I love mommy more than daddy. I don't like you anymore. Okay, good night, honey. Three seconds later. Daddy! Daddy! I want daddy! Daddy! I 
can't go to sleep until... And then... Listen, we don't need to get into it, okay? She's chilling. I mean, she's three and a half. She's working it through. But, like... I do like... Or, rather, I should say, I don't mind being the parent that speaks honestly. Because I feel like so much parental content out there... People are not gonna like... People with kids are gonna plus two this, and people without kids are gonna be fucking pissed off and troubled. All the parental content on social media is always like, you can never try to adjust your kid's behavior. If your kid's doing something bad, it's your fault. And you can't ever punish them because it'll give them trauma that they'll never get over because they'll never have agency even when they're like middle-aged. It's just going to affect them for life. We need some parental content that's like, sometimes your kid's just being a little fucking asshole. What you should do is give them a cup of juice and look at your phone for 15 minutes. Because you got to fucking live your life too. Don't get, I'm making sacrifices for our child. Don't get me wrong. But at the same time, there's times where, you know, I'm trying to get her dressed and she's like, I don't want to put pants on. I want to just wear my diaper. And I'm like, okay, maybe diaper and a dress. And she's like, no dress. Shirt that I grew out of six months ago. And I'm like, okay, I'll see you in 10 minutes. I'm going downstairs. And then all of a sudden it's daddy, daddy, come here, daddy, I want to play. I'm not playing that game for two hours a night. I'll play it with you for 10 minutes and then you got to... You got to reach a compromise or I'm just, I'm out for a little bit. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I know I'm venting, okay? I'm just saying, I, I feel like there's, it's good to have some realistic depictions of parenthood. Because all the ones, and this is how you know social media is, it's like this for everything, right? When you see the photo of someone on Instagram and they're at the beach with like a drink in their hand, you don't see their credit card balance. You don't see how they almost got into like a car accident on the way to the beach and they got into a fight in the Uber or something like that. You just see the beautiful sun and the bikini photos and whatever. The, the parenting stuff on social media is crazy because it'll actually have you think, like your kid will say something like, I hate you. And as the parent, you're like, hmm, what's the most equitable way to resolve this situation? And I'm like, don't say that. That hurts my feelings. And then she's like, I don't care. And then I'm like, okay, I'm eating the ham sandwich downstairs. I'll see you in five minutes. <laughs> I'm a person too. It's not all about you. Okay. Slash marker. Call that.